You might be shocked, but with a budget of $5,000, you can easily find very reliable and cool cars. Today, I have put together a selection of such cars for you. You'll discover some of the best options on the market for 2024. And at the end, I'll tell you about what is probably the best car. Enjoy the video. Recently, I realized that I want to buy a car. I already got my driver's license, though only recently. Practically everyone with driving experience recommends getting an inexpensive car so that you won't feel bad if something happens to it, unlike if it were your dream car. And I generally agree with them, but I don't want to buy something so cheap that it falls apart in a couple of months. So I decided to set a clear budget of $5,000. But before, I want to warn you about something. Finding a perfect car within this budget is practically impossible. Why? Because the car market has grown significantly. Even models that used to cost next to nothing are now sold for a lot of money. So I will have to compromise on some aspects. The first car on my list is often used with one specific goal in mind, to drive the family somewhere. And this, you know, is a huge advantage. The thing is, these cars aren't used as taxis. However, they might be driven on country roads, so don't expect the body to be in perfect condition. Plus, these cars are quite old. But let's not focus on that. Be because we have a legendary Japanese vehicle in front of us, the first-generation Nissan X-Trail. You can easily find such a car on various platforms for a decent price. What do I like about it? Firstly, it has a pretty good configuration for the price. It will have a nice interior, climate control, and a lot of space. Sometimes you can even find options with a panoramic roof. What else do kids need for happiness? But personally, I'm sold on the fact that it's a Japanese car. This means it will be very reliable, especially since it has a diesel engine and a manual transmission. If you choose this combination, you will have minimal problems. The only thing is, the car will be about 20 years old, so it will definitely have some issues. Most often, these issues will be related to the body. In general, all Japanese cars have problems with their paintwork. Unfortunately, in conditions where winter brings severe frost and roads are treated with chemicals, any car risks getting some rust on the underbody fairly quickly. And that's even more so for 20-year-old cars. But even so, you can find an option that will last a few more years without causing too many headaches. The main thing is to be careful when choosing a car and not buy one that has been in an accident. Otherwise, you won't be protected from much bigger problems. For those who don't need large, roomy crossovers and prefer small hatchbacks, I can suggest a very interesting option. This car is from Germany, so it definitely won't have the body problems that Japanese cars do. Moreover, these little cars are famous for their reliability in terms of the powertrain. It's important to note one thing. Again, you need to choose a model with a manual transmission. In general, I advise you to forget about the idea of buying an automatic car. The thing is, finding a good option in this price range will be very difficult. And repairing an automatic transmission is always an expensive endeavor. So what car am I talking about? The second generation Skoda Fabia. It's a very simple but reliable hatchback. It won't have any frills or cool features, just the essentials. And it doesn't look very cool. So it's unlikely to appeal to those looking for a flashy car to impress girls. This car has a completely different philosophy. It's designed to get you from point A to point B, safely, calmly, and without any issues and it will do that. The reliable engine certainly won't let you down. As for German build quality and safety, I think there's no need to even mention that. Personally, I would gladly take such a car as my first one. It's perfect for gaining driving experience. Its small size allows you to feel comfortable on the road and in parking lots, and it's very easy to maintain. This little one won't require a lot of money, in general, an excellent option for beginner drivers, or for those who just need a reliable little car. But what if you try a young and hot-blooded guy and these grandma cars don't interest you at all? I totally understand you, my friends. I was like that too. And I also want a beautiful, youthful, and at the same time cheap and reliable car. But finding one is quite difficult. However, in this video, I decided to reveal a little secret. 
The fact is, such cars do exist, and girls like them quite a lot. So take note, which car am I talking about? I'm talking about the third generation Suzuki Swift. This car, though it's almost 20 years old, still looks very good and youthful. It has a very pleasant and recognizable design. And I wasn't lying when I said girls like it. My brother had such a car, and he constantly drove around beautiful ladies in it. But the main advantage isn't that. Suzuki is a Japanese brand. And what does that mean? It means the car is extremely reliable. The engine doesn't care how many miles it has driven. And if it has a manual transmission, you can forget about major repairs. Surprisingly, this car doesn't have issues with its paintwork. It hardly rusts. And these are not all its advantages. This car has keyless entry, a very low fuel consumption. And despite its small size, it can fit a lot of people and things. Just a wonderful car. By the way, as I mentioned, I had indirect experience with it. I rode with my brother in it, and it really impressed me. In general, this option is definitely worth considering. But if you're not afraid of the car's age and style is more important than money, I can recommend a different Japanese car. This car became a cult classic in its time. It's also very reliable, but since many of them were made in the last century, it's hard to talk about their condition. But all the guys in the neighborhood will definitely respect you. Moreover, this car is just loved for tuning, so it can really suit some young guy. And I'm talking about the legendary sixth generation Honda Civic. This car doesn't stand out for its speed, dynamics, or any cool features in the cabin. It's a very basic car with not many useful functions, but its appearance really excites many guys because it looks really cool. As for the advantages, I'd like to note that you can find options with a sunroof, which is another plus for a guy's karma. And the reliable engine with a manual transmission can handle these years without a problem. The parts for the car are cheap, and you can even replace them yourself. And I assure you, these cars will be bought by guys who want to do the repairs themselves. They will also want to install a new cool exhaust, cool rims, and a sound system, and many other interesting things. Actually, I would also like to have such a car. But unfortunately, due to my busy schedule, I won't be able to do everything I want with it. In general, a great option for some young guy. Oh, I've been lingering too long on all these hatchbacks. There aren't many reliable cars in this budget, and I'd like to talk about those that look cool too. That's probably why my list has a bunch of Japanese cars. So don't be surprised that I'll be talking about another car made in that country, but this time it's a very nice sedan, more suitable for those who have at least one child. Which car am I talking about? I'm talking about the very beautiful 2007 Mazda 3. It seems that in a couple of years this car will be 20 years old, yet it still looks relevant. Apparently the Mazda designers knew exactly how to make a beautiful car. Moreover, it's very reliable. Again, the powertrain here can travel unimaginable distances without major repairs. So we just need to find one with a manual transmission, and that's it. However, Mazda has pretty big problems with the body. They are quite prone to corrosion, and finding a good undamaged option is quite difficult. Due to its looks, these cars often ended up in the hands of young guys who didn't drive them very carefully. Another downside is that the parts for this model are quite expensive. I remember that new headlights for the Mazda 3 can cost a pretty penny. In general, it's a rather controversial car, but on the other hand, it's very reliable and looks cool. Since I've already started talking about sedans, I couldn't ignore another Japanese car. However, this one is much more reliable in all respects and highly valued among car enthusiasts. This model had a very cool sports version that won T, everything in rally races. Unfortunately, the racing version of this beauty doesn't fit into our budget, but young guys can tune its appearance to look like a real sporty car. Let me introduce you to this car. Attention, it's the ninth generation Mitsubishi Lancer. I want to emphasize right away that this car is a true legend. It boasts immense reliability. The engine and manual transmission are virtually indestructible. The body doesn't seem to suffer from any common issues either. Moreover, parts for it are dirt cheap and maintenance is very affordable. What more could a beginner driver need? Personally, I'm sold on the fact that you can order bumpers that mimic the Evolution version, put a spoiler on the trunk, 
and no one in traffic will think you're driving a boring car. Everyone has heard about the sporty version of the Lancer. If you need a more practical car to take kids to school or haul bags of potatoes to the countryside, you can opt for the station wagon version. I thought about getting one myself. And no, I had completely different plans. To share a secret, I was thinking about installing a subwoofer in that huge trunk so the whole city would hate me. But for some reason, I didn't buy such a car a few years ago. That was a mistake as its price has since increased several times. I highly recommend considering this car. All right, all right. I get that you're tired of hearing about my Japanese cars, but you have to admit, they know how to make very reliable vehicles in that country. However, it's time for me to talk about something new, reliable, cool, and within our budget. Oh yes, and from another country. And I found such a car. It was designed in America, and cars from this country are known for their decent reliability. I'm not talking about modern electric cars or huge, super smart vehicles whose computers fail in the heat, causing the car to stop working properly. In my humble opinion, about 10 years ago, they made much cooler cars in the USA. The second generation Ford Focus is even older, but that's not the point. The point is, this car, regardless of the body type, still looks quite respectable today. It has a nice interior, a cool exterior, and in the case of the hatchback, it's pretty youthful. Plus, the second generation has a very reliable powertrain, and as usual in this budget, it's better to consider a manual transmission. There aren't any specific issues with this model. Just like with age, all the scratches start developing new problems. Many say that cars are like living beings. So finding one in perfect body condition is almost impossible. Just make sure there's nothing majorly wrong. And what about the maintenance, you ask? It's simple and cheap. Parts are inexpensive, the car is well studied, and any mechanic can fix it. The fuel consumption is also quite low. Overall, an excellent option within such a modest budget. Friends, I'd like to add a few more words. Be careful when choosing a car. Pay special attention to the documents, check the car history for accidents, and evaluate all risks. The budget I used for today's car selection is small. You might argue that it's a lot of money, but it's not enough to buy a really new or almost new car. Also, keep an eye on the relevance of this video. The market situation might change drastically in a few years. So, I might make a similar video in a year or two to compare the results. So how did you like my car selection? Write in the comments what you would include in the list and let me know if you want a follow up. In the meantime, I'll add that I was assisted by a professional car selector in compiling this list. And do you know where else professionals are needed? In our team. Friends, you have the opportunity to join our team. If you have skills in video editing, can do voiceovers in Russian, English, or other languages, or write interesting scripts, we'd love to work with you. Contact us via our Telegram bot. The link is in the description. And thank you for watching.